So now we're going to discuss the UV light source as well as the ILT detector that are used for the UV transmittance apparatus. Starting with the UV light source, you can see that we have both a time parameter and an intensity parameter of both which that we can change. And we can do that using these arrow keys and the select button down below here. You know which one you have highlighted if it is glowing red. So currently we are selecting the time. If you hit select, it will begin to blink, showing that we can change this parameter. So if you hit the up arrow or down arrow, you can increase or decrease the time as you wish, which will essentially just change the amount of time that the UV light is showing and irradiating into your sample. If you hit select again, it will then deselect that parameter and you can move on with your experiment. If you want to change the intensity, again, you just hit that down arrow and you're able to select that parameter now. So again, you can use the, in, the up or down arrows to increase or decrease the intensity. It's also important to note that 5% is the lowest setting that this UV light source has. So now we just hit select and we are going to deselect that intensity parameter. So another important button to know is this start slash stop button will essentially start that UV light irradiation and also stop it. So now I'm moving on to the ILT detector. You can see currently we are in that trend tall setting that we had um, talked about in the previous video. So to get into the settings to essentially see the data collection interval that we're going to have for our samples, you can either hit this three bar symbol on the top right if you're already in this setting, or if you go back to the home setting, you essentially can just hit settings right here on the main menu. And it brings you to the same settings um, area. So the important parameters in this area specifically are the sample time button, which you can set to auto, fast, or any of these other speeds. But generally what we do for our data collection is keep it on fast, which will give us a data point every 0.03 seconds or every 30 milliseconds. And to implement this sample time in our recording interval, we have to make sure that our recording interval on the bottom here is set to sample so that we are able to get the, that one data point every 30 milliseconds. Additionally, the last parameter that is of interest is this one known as update interval. If you keep it at 0.5, which is the default, we are able to get the recording interval of 30 milliseconds, but if you change this to anything else, it will take this new setting that you have set it to. So if you set it to one second or 0.25 seconds, that will be your new recording interval if you do not use this 0.5. So just keep it at 0.5 and everything will work the way you want it to. So once you have selected all of your settings accordingly, you just scroll to the bottom and hit save settings and then go to the top and hit back. And now you can go and run your samples as you normally would with these new settings that you have um, put into your settings.